All right, so I've been thinking about doing this for a little while and I finally did it. Welcome back everybody. We are in the basement here at the Big Liston channel and we are getting ready to do some shipping here this morning. Let's take a look at what sold. First up, we got this Amazon Echo Remote. It is open, but it is still factory sealed, wrapped inside of the open box. I posted this because I wanted it to move for $6 plus calculated shipping. Buyers all in right around 13 bucks. Someone else also bought both of these Amazon smart plugs. Sold these guys for right around 15 bucks plus shipping. Next up, we have this Traxxas Glow Plug. This guy sold for five bucks plus shipping. We have this Anthony Rizzo Chicago Cubs Pillow Pet. It's a smaller one. Most of the time, these are like really big. Uh, but this is a smaller one, so for seven dollars plus calculated shipping, and this gun rootin' tootin' cowgirl bear, and uh, this guy sold for seven dollars plus calculated shipping as well. Now you guys see that I sell plush all the time on here. Uh, some call them stuffed animals, some call them plush. Plush is just the reseller phrase, I think. But long story short, Gund is a great brand to pick up. I know a lot of people know Gund as in like, oh, that's a high quality brand, but it's also a good reselling brand. So if you're interested in getting into reselling stuffed animals, take a look for Gund. You see it, grab it. As long as it's clean, it looks pretty good, no rips, you're gonna be golden. Good morning, everybody. We have six sales going out today and yesterday was just kind of a monstrous day. All of them came through yesterday. We're shipping them out today. Let's take a look. So the first one that came through were these three USB four port chargers. Uh, these have been selling in multi quantities, which I'm really excited about. So same buyer bought three of these, $5 a piece plus $15 in shipping. So we'll definitely make some profit on this one, which is nice because normally if they sell in singles, we make about 30 cents. It's great. After that, we had this 15 year old Brookstone nap blanket sell, about $30 plus shipping. We'll throw this guy in a poly bag and send it on out. Sold this Snap-on Upright Socket Roasting Pan. I got two of these for $5 total. This sold for 10 plus calculated shipping. So we'll be in the profit on these. I wasn't going for tons of profit. We'll still quadruple our money after both of them sell. Then we sold this Lot of Five Schmitz Deodorant. Uh, it's uh, fresh fur and spice, but it's also natural deodorant. So it's like aluminum free and all that other stuff. It's pretty popular right now. This is normally, I think this brand is normally like $8, $9 a stick. Uh, I sold this lot of five for $30 plus shipping. So it came out to about $6 a stick. Uh, but the aluminum free deodorant is really great to pick up. I got these from the good garage sale and I'm in them for a dollar a piece. I just listed this yesterday. I bought it over the weekend and it's sold. I got this guy for eight bucks. It's the wire, it's used uh, Blu-ray. And it's surprising to me because I looked at the sold comps and I did not expect for them to be so high. This sold for $60 plus media mail shipping. And I was surprised by this because you can watch The Wire on HBO Max. So somebody could just get one month of HBO Max for $15 and then watch it or two months of it and watch it over two months or whatever time frame it takes them. And then they could cancel their subscription. They would still save more money than buying this. But, you know, maybe they're a collector. Maybe they like Blu-ray sets. Who knows? So $60 plus shipping. Great flip. And last but certainly not least, is this guy right here. Now I know it says personalization mall. This is actually those motorcycle speakers that I sold a while back and got returned because the buyer was just being a little bit silly. And anyway, I marked these down a little bit and they sold uh, buyers all in right around $250, $260. I'm not sure I'm gonna keep them in this box though, just because the other side has a split in it and I wanna make sure it gets there really, really well. So I'm gonna repackage them, send them on out. Overall, yesterday we sold, I wanna say it was $377 all in. Uh, after fees and shipping and all the good stuff, we should make right around $300 on everything, which is a great day, especially for a Tuesday, nonetheless. So I'll take it and hopefully today's just as good. What's up everybody, five orders going out today. Here they are. Disney plush from Chippendale Rescue Rangers. This guy sold for $8 plus calculated shipping. Vintage Kmart Fruit of the Loom underwear, three pack. $18 plus $5.95 shipping. Used Cannonball Run, $3 plus calculated shipping. These two Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles sold for $27 total plus $12 shipping. And I got this baseball glove as a part of that $15 deal a couple weeks ago. This guy sold for $50 plus calculated shipping. We're gonna throw this in a padded flat rate envelope. What's up everybody? Three sales today going out. Here they are. So first up we have this stuffed plush bird. It does make some sound. Burda, burda. 
it's gonna go in a poly bag and be sent on out. This is very well padded, so I'm not too worried about um, the voice box getting damaged at all. Next up, we have this Simply Safe entry sensor, $9 plus calculated shipping. And we have this George Killian's beer tap handle. I got this from that $50 basement pick uh, a couple months back. This guy sold for $7 plus shipping. Now that entry sensor and the beer tap handle are gonna be shipped in these guys. Those are six by 10 poly bubble mailers. I actually just ordered a new lot of 50 because I go through these pretty quick. What's going on everybody? We got 12 sales going out today, here they are. First up, this plush Mickey Mouse. This is a Kohl's Cares Mickey Mouse, not from Disney Parks. This guy sold, I think it was like $4 and some change. Buyers all in right around 10 bucks. We'll throw it in a poly bag and send them on out. Everyone's favorite, we have a few of these today where it's stuff you can't see. This is a uh, Mini Mutants Leonardo Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles playset. This guy sold for $10 plus calculated shipping. We'll send it out in a six by six by six box. In here, we actually have a rock band drum pedal. So this is for the bass drum. And this guy sold for $20 plus calculated shipping. Here's some of this Republic of Tea. Uh, I got this, I wanna say for 50 cents at a garage sale a couple months ago. Sold for $6.50 plus shipping. More stuff we can't see. A Godzilla figure from the late 80s sold for $12 plus shipping. So the last one of the slide puzzles I have, this guy is a Stegosaurus. It sold for $15 plus shipping. My wife and I just upgraded our cell phones. Uh, we got new iPhones for free. It was a promotion that was being run. So I sold the box. Just the box sold for $10 plus shipping. We sold the Simply Safe Panic button. This guy went for 10 bucks plus shipping. So this is pretty cool. These are some high flex uh, foam nitrile gloves. So these are two different purchases, the one on the right and the one on the left. These are two separate packages from two, for two separate buyers. But I got all of these for six bucks total. And each one of these sold for $15 plus shipping. So it's a great flip and they sold within about 12 hours. Next up, we got this brand new second generation Amazon Echo. A little bit of a box wrinkle on the corner there, but otherwise brand new, you can see it's sealed. This guy sold for 40 bucks plus calculated shipping. And then we got a second generation Amazon Echo Plus. This guy actually sold for $70 plus calculated shipping. Buyers all in for right around $150 because it's an international sale. What's up everybody? It is Wednesday night. We are shipping here. Our one item that sold since we did our shipping this morning. Earlier today, I got out everything that actually sold through the first half of the day and uh, yesterday. This is just the last thing that sold here today. It'll go out tomorrow. And I'm kind of surprised by what sold, so let's take a look at what it is. It actually sold a Rolodex. It's brand new, but I was surprised by this when I found it at a garage sale for $2. It is brand new. And I just so happened to look it up, I'm like, there's no way that this thing's gonna be worth anything. But also, how often do you find a Rolodex brand new at a garage sale? Turns out that they sell pretty well, typically $25 plus free shipping. Uh, this guy sold for $15 plus $10 shipping because I charge for my shipping. But either way, somebody bought a Rolodex all in for $25 plus tax. I was pretty surprised by that. So definitely something to uh, keep in mind at your next garage sale, estate sale. If they're the right price, take a look. It might be worth something. What's going on, everybody? I just wanted to wish everyone out there a happy Father's Day if you're a parent. Um, you know, I hope everybody has a great day. It's relaxing. Enjoy some family time. Whatever you decide to do. Maybe some alone time if that's your thing. But either way, happy Father's Day to all the dads out there. And to my dad, thank you very much. My dad is actually the first person who really talked to me heavily about trying to build up eBay. You know, he knew that I had done it for a while in the past. I did it for a golf shop that I used to work for. I did it recreationally a little bit and he's like, you know, hey, like, you know, you can really make some money doing this. And I had talked about scaling it up and he's just always been a really big supporter of it. He's even went out garage sale with me a few times. So, um, you know, it's, I, he's really like one of my two biggest supporters doing this. So dad, I really appreciate it. And I'm really hoping to do this full time one day, as you already know. So love you. And uh, again, happy Father's Day to everybody out there. What's going on, everybody? We have seven sales going out today, and I just discovered that the last three videos, which is about 25 items, didn't record. So here's seven of them, and I'm gonna check before I actually just wrap all these up and ship them on out, but here they are, seven items, go. All right, we have a buyer who bought two more of these four port USB hubs. I have one left. So honestly, I might just give that one away because I'm tired of dealing with these. Sold them to the same buyer, ship them out in a nine by six by four box and we will be done with that. Interesting thing about the nine by six by four box, it's one of my favorite boxes to use. 
um, the 9 by 6 by 4 the 6 by 4 by 4 and also the regional rate a box which is about 10 by 7 by 5 but everything that goes in there is two pounds um, the 9 by 6 by 4 is great in the past I've bought them from Staples I've gotten like 25 of them for about nine bucks which is a good price for for shipping boxes recently though it went from nine dollars and some change for 25 to 32 dollars and some change for 25 of them so i'm not really sure where i'm going to get them from because it's the perfect size box for so many things i know a lot of folks use an eight by six by four but that one inch difference on on the shipping box actually makes a huge difference in my business and the items that i typically send out so if you guys know of any place to get a good price nine by six by four let me know down in the comments Next up, we have this Under Armour hat, sold for $10 plus calculated shipping. I got this as a part of that $15 deal uh, where I got like the laptop, a second screen, slot car stuff, I mean, all, all sorts of stuff. I've already made somewhere in the vicinity of $100 profit from that sale and I still have about half the stuff to go. So I'm very excited. This is an Ahava cream. Um, I, not much too special about it. It's just brand new. I remember the day that I bought this in the sale I was at. I had been to over 20 garage sales and I had bought nothing because they were all just crazy on the price. And this right here I bought for $1. So it sold here for $7 plus shipping uh, after fees and all that good stuff. I'll multiply my money by five or six. So that's a great turnaround. I got these two spin brush heads. These were actually set up uh, for I think a quarter at a garage sale. These guys sold for five dollars plus calculated shipping. So that's still a really good turn, especially when you're talking about spending a quarter and turning it into four or five bucks. There we go. So I went to a sale last weekend where I spent $17 on a lot of really great things. This is one of the items that was in there and it sold for $45 plus calculated shipping. So we're well into the profit just off the one item. And this is the only thing I've listed out of that $17 that I bought. I'm not sure if this will be a big padded envelope or if this will go in a box, we will see. We sold these four Simply Safe entry sensors uh, for $36 plus calculated shipping. And the same buyer bought these two glass break sensors for $36 plus shipping. So I'm going to throw them all in the same box and send them on out to that buyer so they arrive at once. All right, so I've been thinking about doing this for a little while and I finally did it. I took my old Excel spreadsheet that I used for tracking all my sales the first two and a half years I did eBay. I made it look a little prettier. I tweaked a couple things that I always thought could use tweaking, but it worked for me how it was. And I uploaded it to my Gumroad account. So if you're a newer eBay seller, or maybe you're not newer, but you need something to track your eBay sales manually because you don't necessarily want to pay a monthly subscription fee, you can actually go to my Gumroad link down below and you can buy the sales tracker for $9. That's it, $9. Lifetime access, if I release updates or any add-ons to it, those will also be accessible to you. And um, again, you know, no obligation. This isn't asking you, oh, go sign up for a Discord. Here's a course. It's just uh, just to be helpful, you know. it's uh, It looks good. It's user-friendly. There's instructions on how to use it. And, uh, yeah, if you need something to track your sales, it is there for you. So let me know what you think if you go ahead and buy it. Thanks. What's up, everybody? It is Tuesday night, five sales going out. eBay is getting ridiculous. But my computer's back in the basement because I just started a new job yesterday. So there's no space for it in the office anymore, so we gotta get it set up so we can do the shipping. But here are the items that sold. First up, we got this little Matchbox car. This guy sold for $2.85 plus calculated shipping. Buyers all in right around eight bucks. Next up is this lot of two Astra Plus disposable razors. They come with a handle, no replacement heads. $20 plus calculated shipping. Buyers all in right around 30 bucks. After that, we have this Willow Tree. I paid $2 for it, sold for 15 plus shipping. We have this Paris Hilton roller bag, $23 plus calculated shipping. Buyers all in right around 41 bucks. And this is a lot of four Disney princess dolls, $40 plus calculated shipping for the large flat rate box. Buyers all in right over 60 bucks. Hey, happy 4th of July, everybody. We got three sales going out here for tomorrow. Let's take a look what they are. We got this Hallmark ornament. I got it for a buck, sold it for $9 plus calculated shipping. It is brand new. I got this Lancome cream. This is like a sample size. Got this for a dollar, maybe less. Uh, but it was at most a dollar. Sold it for $24.50 plus shipping. And I got this Clarisonic massaging brush head for $1 at a garage sale. Sold it for $40 plus calculated shipping. That's a great flip. All right, everybody, we're calling that a day for this video. I know it's a lot of what's sold. I know this probably isn't quite what you were expecting compared to the last couple videos I've released. It's been a weird few weeks around here. And so I'm just gonna try my best to get back 
to doing this how I want to do it and um, just putting more thought and effort into it explicitly. Uh, so until next time, I hope everybody gets some great sales and we will see you guys soon.